Welcome to Scruffy TV! Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome! You are welcome to Scruffy Church TV, a service for all the family, for everybody, no matter where you are, no matter when you're watching, you are welcome and we hope and pray that you'll enjoy being together and worshipping God together wherever we are. My name's Philip, I'm a vicar here in Bath and Lizzie, my wife, is behind the camera she would love to be on Scruffy TV, but she can't because she's not scruffy enough. She's far too glam, but she's a great glamourer operator. Yeah. So she is filming us, so that's really wonderful. Now, the other person in the team, there's me and there's Glam Lizzie, and there's Andrew. Now, Andrew is the person who we send the film to once we've recorded it, and he puts it all together. He puts the pictures in and the bit, bits of video and he puts a nice beginning and a nice end and he makes it all look and sound great. But this weekend he's really busy because he has a special service where the bishop is going to license him. It's gonna say, he, you can now go and work with Philip in Bath and we're really excited, but he's gonna be really busy doing that this weekend so he won't be able to edit for us. So we're gonna pray for him later, but hello to Andrew, big shout out to you. And we look forward to you being back with us again next week. But don't worry, because Glam Lizzie said she's got a brilliant idea for the end of the service. So we'll have to wait and see what that's gonna be about, won't we? That's really good. So one big shout out today to everybody. <laughs> Welcome. And a big shout out to you, God, bless you as we gather together to worship. Now, we're gonna get some stuff like we normally do here. So there is some paper and some pencils, some nice colored pencils. See, these are my favorite colored pencils, you see. I'm sharing them with Scruffy TV, so we're gonna, we need those. And you also need to get a nice bit of bread. What? Oh no, <laughs> don't worry, because although there's no bread here at the moment, we're going to be making some a little later on. <laughs> so we will have some bread, but you can stop the video here and you can go and get that paper and the pencils and the bread, and then you can rejoin us once you start again, because we are now going to pray together. So make sure you've got your bread all ready. We'll use that a bit later and we'll just have a nice and quiet time. See how still you can sit. See how quiet you can be. Listen. That's such a beautiful sound. And we pray, loving God, that as we sing, as we shout, as we make noises, as we pray, that we may be a sweet sound in your ear, that you will love our worship as you love us. In Jesus' name. Scruffy, scruffy church, scruffy, scruffy church, we're gonna sing the song. Get ready, here it comes. Here we go! Come on everybody, you know the words. Sometime on a Sunday, or any day, I know where I'll be. Watching my computer or iPad to see Scruffy TV. It's Scruffy Scruffy Church! Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church! Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church! Woo! We're God's family now! What will we do this week? I'm sure it will be fun With you and me and Jesus So come on everyone Two, three, four! Scruffy Scruffy Church! Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church! Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church! Woo! We're all family Who is it? You and you and me you and you and me, you and you and me, we're God's family. What are we? We're God's family. Who are we? We're God's family. Scruffy Church TV, everybody! <sighs> Shall I tell you a secret? That is the first time in 15 weeks 
that I have played all the chords right for Scruffy Church TV. And there are only three of them. Now, we are going to have a story that is one I'm really, I know I look forward to the story every week, but I'm really, really looking forward to this one. And as ever, this story needs you. You need to join in with it. So what I want you to imagine that you're really hungry. Imagine, you might well be really hungry, but imagine you're really hungry. What would you like to eat now? Yeah, I think uh, poached egg on toast for me oh, with some baked beans. Yeah. Now, when you're really, really hungry, what happens to your stomach? It rumbles. Can you make the sound of a rumbling tummy? Brilliant. Now, can you make the sound of 5,000 rumbling tummies? Everybody, here we go. Imagine that. Brilliant. And now, imagine that somebody has given you some food and you're going to eat it. Now, be the sound of 5,000 people eating. Oh, gorgeous. So this is the story. As you know, Jesus, wherever he went, thousands of people used to gather around to hear him speak. They used to love him. They used to love the way that he told stories, that he'd tell jokes, and that everybody would listen to the things he taught them and the things he did, because he healed people as well. That's why there were so many people. And one day, Jesus was visiting a town next to a big lake and in these are all the houses of the town and in this house here was a girl called Joanna so she was wearing red so imagine now being inside the house and we need somebody in red to play Joanna hello everybody hello Adrian how are you going to be the hero you certainly are going to be the hero what's my name Joanna Joanna that's a girl's name yeah and I'm going to be Joanna's mum. Oh, cool. So, Joanna was in the house with her mum. Mum, what is it, Joanna? And, and Jesus is coming to town. Yes, I know, it's very exciting. Can I go and hear him? Well, yes, you can, but often it's quite a long time. So why don't you take some lunch with him? No, I'll be on oh, no. Joanna, yes, ma'am. I want you to take some lunch. Oh, well, all right then. Now, do you want brown bread? Oh, white bread. Um, I have some brown bread, please. Right, thanks, Mummy. And Joanna? Yes, ma'am. Would you like big fish or little fish? I like big fish. Right, I'm off now, Joanna. Yes, ma'am. Would you like brown fish or silver fish? Oh, I love silver fish, please. I'm going now, now, Joanna. Yes, ma'am. Um, would you like a peach or an orange? I like an orange, please. Right, I'm off now, Joanna. Yes, ma'am. Would you like it? Put in a bag or a basket. I like it in a basket, please. Right, here you go. Oh, thanks very much. I'm going now. Bye bye. Oh, bye, ma'am. Woohoo! And off went Joanna. So imagine, have a look at this. This is Joanna, and she's leaving the house to join the crowd of 5,000 people. Now, this is an idea I saw at an art exhibition about 10 years ago. I went to an exhibition by Stan's Cafe and they used grains of rice for people. So that's where I got the idea. So thank you very much, Stan's Cafe. Now look back here. These are 5,000 grains of rice. Don't worry, we're going to use these a bit later. I'm going to wash them and we'll use them in our supper. And Joanna ran all the way until she was right in the middle of the crowd. And there's Jesus. Look, that's grain of rice represents Jesus. And we've got a few of his disciples with him. And Jesus had been teaching all day and he was really, really tired. So he wanted to get away from where the crowd was. So he and his disciples got into a boat, <laughs> using the bowl as a boat, and they sailed across the lake to the other side and out they got and then they climbed up a hill. There we are, there's Jesus and his disciples. But, but they weren't alone because the crowd decided 
to go with them. They walked, when Jesus was sailing, they walked right around the lake and they started to go towards where Jesus and the disciples were sitting up the hill. And they were so hungry by this stage that all you could hear was their stomachs rumbling. Let's hear the sound of stomachs. <laughs> Jesus heard the sound. <gasps> and he called one of his disciples. Philip! Uh, yes, what is it, Jesus? Ha <laughs> ha! Hello, everybody! I'm a disciple today! Ha <laughs> ha! What? What? Piff piff! Ha <laughs> ha! Now look, look I, I really need you to go and do something for me. Well, what is... Well, look at all those people. <gasps> wow! I reckon there are... 5,000 people now, I reckon you're right, Philip. Now, they're all really hungry, yes? So I'd like you, yes, to go and get them some lunch. Oh, oh, well, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> all right, I tell you what, I'll count to 100, see if you can go and get the lunch by the time I get, no, 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 not that. I mean that I don't think there are any shops nearby and I can't carry food for 5,000 people. There are far too many. Oh, got a good point there. Yes, uh, so what do you reckon we'll do? Well, uh, uh, oh, actually, Jesus, look over there. And they looked over there, and in the middle of the crowd, who do you think they saw? But there she is, Joanna, with her packed lunch. There. Yeah. And Jesus said to Philip, Can you go over and chat to Joanna? So off went the disciple Philip to talk to Joanna. Oh, um, hello, little girl. Hello there. Um, what's your name? My name's Joanna. Oh, well, hello, Joanna. Uh, now, I see you've got a very, very nice packed lunch there. Yes, yes, I have, actually. My mum did it for me. Well, that's very, very nice. Now, um, please, may I borrow it? Borrow it? Yes. Well, well, you, you see, it's Jesus. He would like to borrow it. Jesus? That's right. Well, I tell you what, you can have my packed lunch on one condition. What's that? That I take it to Jesus myself. Oh, OK, let's go. And off they went. Here, let's have a look. Here we are, look. Here is Joanna going through the crowds <laughs> all the way to Jesus with the disciples there as well. And Jesus said, hello, Joanna. Oh, hello, Jesus. Thank you so much for lending us your lunch. Oh, that's all right. I'm going to use it to feed all of these people. Really? How are you going to do that? Well, I am Jesus. Oh, all right then. I trust you, Jesus. Thank you very much. And thank you for your lunch. That's all right. Shall we pray? That's a great idea. Loving God, thank you so much for this food, for these loaves and these fishes and the orange, which we're going to have for pudding. Please bless us and feed us in Jesus' name. Amen. And Jesus broke the bread and he broke the fish and he gave it to his disciples and look what happened. His disciples took it round to all the people and as the people came round they were given some bread and some fish and later they were given some oranges. Although that's not mentioned in the Bible but I think they must have had pudding. And everybody was chomping all at once. Let's make that noise of 5,000 people eating. And because of Joanna being so generous, everybody was fed that day. I love that story. I love it. God wants everybody to be fed. And God wants everybody in the world to be fed today to have enough food, to have enough water, to have shelter, and to have safety. But as we all know, not everybody in the world has got those things. And God calls us to share what we have so that everybody can eat. Or it's not fair. It's not fair. Do you remember that song, It's Not Fair? I think we should sing it now because we sang it a couple of weeks ago, but it's just right for now. It's not fair. And remember, that we don't have to have any words at all because I'm going to teach you the chorus. If you haven't sung it before, the chorus goes like this. It's not, it's not fair. You sing that loud bit, ready? It's not, it's not fair. It's not, it's not fair. People say don't worry, but I really care that it's not. 
late that night when there's something on the telly and you're feeling wide awake you have to go to bed then next morning when you want to lie in you have to get up and go to school instead hooray it's not it's not fair it's not it's not fair people say don't worry but i really care that it's not it's not fair when you and your brother or sister are playing a really fantastic game Why is it that when someone cries It's always you who gets the blame Oh, it's not, it's not fair It's not, it's not fair People say don't worry But I really care that it's not, it's not fair When it's Time for dinner and you know that for pudding are three really nice ice creams Why is it that you're not allowed to have them until you've finished off your greens Or your beans in your dreams It's not, it's not fair It's not, it's not fair People say don't worry, but I really care that it's not, it's not friends Where? You and your friends are playing with your guinea pig called Jeremy wee, wee. Why is it that when it's your turn to hold him He always does a whoopsie on your knee It's not, it's not fair It's not, it's not fair People say don't worry But I really care that it's not, it's not fair Millions of people are starving and homeless and Jesus says that it's not fair God's given us more than enough It's up to us to care and share If we dare It's not, it's not fair It's not, it's not fair People say don't worry But I really care that it's not, it's not fair Well done everybody, well done Now do you remember earlier on in the service, we didn't have any bread? So I think that we should all pay a visit to the Scruffy Church TV kitchen and see what we can find. Right, come into the Scruffy Church TV kitchen. Now I'm going to turn on, now, Make sure, of course, that you never go near... Oh, take my microphone off there. That you never go near your cooker without your mum or dad with you. Whatever you do, my special apron here for this particular time of year. Now, I've put the, I've put the gas on now. I'm heating up that pan. We're going to make a chapati bread. So here is some dough that I made earlier on before we started filming and I used some flour and some water and that was it I put a tiny bit of salt in as well but it's basically just flour and water and then I mixed them together and then I started kneading them like this you remember you knead like this and the reason we do that come and have a look what we do is so if you imagine that there is like that's the dough like that that's the flour and the water all together and there are little things in there called proteins and they're all the way through the bread all the th through the dough there and they're called gluten and when they start off they're like that so they're easily that you could easily break that all apart there's nothing to hold it together but when you need it when you start to do this all of these things move and they grow so they make long strings of protein like this. And as they grow, they make this like a web of protein. And that gives the dough such amazing strength so that it means that when you cook it, it doesn't all break apart, but it's really, really strong. And that's why you need dough. So I've been kneading this dough and now we're going to make a chapati. Now, there's something that happens sometimes when you make a chapati that is so exciting. I hope it happens today. It doesn't happen all the time, but let's hope it does. So I've got a nice piece of dough there and I'm going to, oh, I'm going to use that later. I'm 
like some chapatis for tea. We can have that with the rice, actually. I can cook the rice, some curry. We can have the chapatis with it. So I'm heating up that pan. And now I'm rolling this out so it's nice and flat. And because the gluten in here has made nice long strings, it makes it really stretchy. Can you see how that's stretching? That, that, that's the gluten made through kneading is holding it all together. So I make it nice and thin like this. Right, now let's see what happens now. First of all, you have to shake off the flour because we don't want that to burn. Now let's see what happens. We're going to put it in the pan. Okay, Glam Lizzie, here we go. And in it goes. So let's see, let's see if it's going to do that amazing thing that happens sometimes when you're cooking chapatis. Just flour and water and a little bit of salt. And we're going to see what happens to it. I think I'll just turn it over. Oh, yeah, it's starting to cook wonderfully there. Now, there we go. Oh, it's getting nice and hard. We can just see it getting brown. Now, let's see. Let's, oh, look, it's starting. It's starting. Look, if you look down there, it's starting to bubble. And it's starting to bubble there. And sometimes it bubbles up so that it's one great. Let's just turn it over one more time. There we go. Oh, look, you can see the bubbles on that side. Look. So, oh, there it goes. Look. Look. Come on, chapati, bubble up. Whoa. Let's try it one more time, flipping it over. Let's see what happens on this side. You can see, oh, you can see the bubbles there. There it goes. Look. That's the gluten making it so strong that it's like a balloon. And it's all puffing up. You can see it puffing up there. Well, I'll do one more flip over like that. There we go. There we go. And oh, I think that's all the bubbles we're going to get. That's fine. So you take your piece of bread. And I'll take this piece of bread. Oh, look at that lovely chapati. There we go. Oh, there it comes. There it comes. Worth a wait, look. It's really bubbling up now. Come on, up you come. Yay, look at that. It's like blowing it up. Oh, that's all the air inside it. As it gets hot, the air gets bigger and blows up. Look at that, that's a great one. Look, that's brilliant. Okay. Turn it off, great. <laughs> It worked! That's really good. Right, there's my, there's my bread, and you've got yours. Let's go through to our prayer room and pray together. Thank you. Right, I'm going to get my book and my pens. And I'll join you in the prayer room in just a moment. Right, here we go. What have you been looking at, I wonder? Well, I've been in there. Right, I hope you got your bread. So you get your bread and your pens all ready. I'm just going to move the microphone. Ugh, like that. Back to there. That's great. Okay, so have you got your bread? Oh, that's nice. It's just about cool enough to handle now. Right, this always reminds me of when, in church, when we have communion. And I take the bread like this, oh, it's just nice and warm now, and I break it. And when we break the bread at communion, it reminds us that Jesus said once that this bread is my body, broken for you. And so that reminds us that Jesus loved us so much that he died for us. And how much he loves us so much that he wants us all to be fed. And sometimes in church, when I, I get the bread like this, and I break it up, and then I give everybody a little bit, and at the end, I look out and I see everybody sitting there and I think all of those bits of bread are in the people. So together we make up that bread as a whole one more time. I love that thought. And even though a small bit of bread doesn't fill us up, I believe that it feeds our souls because God wants us to be fed not just with bread, but with love. 
the love of Jesus. And that eat, and when we have communion, it helps us to be full up with God's love. So what I want you to do now, grab a pencil. I'm going to use my pencil today is of Laycock Abbey, a nice National Trust place. Now what I want you to do is to draw a shape in the middle like that. It could be any shape you like. And then six more, again, anywhere that you like. There we go. And you're going to take your bread. What I'd like you to do is to break the bread. Whoa, like that. And just have a small bit and just put it in the middle there. And that is going to be you. There we are. And then you take another bit of bread and you can put that in another shape. And that is going to be your family. You can draw a few faces next to you there. And another piece of bread. And you can put it in another and that is going to be your friends. And I think that when we pray for people, it's like we're joined together with them. God joins us together as we pray. So we're praying for your friends and we're praying for your family and the family will pray for your friends and they'll pray for you. And thank you, loving God, for all the people that we have who love us and who we can love. And another piece of bread, we're going to put it over here. And this is for, we're going to, I'm going to put the NHS, but that's for all the people who care for us. So we pray for them and our families pray and our friends pray for them. And the people there help us and they pray and they help us. They share their love with us. And another piece, we thank you, God, for the NHS and for all the people who are caring for us. We thank you for schools and for people who educate us and for people who care. And we're going to put another piece of bread here. And this is for charities. So all the organisations who help people to have enough to eat, they help people to have a good lifestyle so that their lives are full of the things that we have. People who campaign for things to make things better. Black Lives Matter we're thinking about at the moment. That's a wonderful thing. So all the different people who work for charities, we pray for them and they share their love with us so much and with all the people of the world. And another piece of bread is going to go here. And that is for the people that we know who need our prayers at the moment. So who do you know who would like to, be, to know that they are loved by you and by God? That's us praying for people. We're going to pray for Andrew and all his family, for Elaine and Josh and Abigail as they start their new work over here in Bath. And they've got to move house and Abigail's got to move schools. And so we pray for them and we pray for Livy, a big fan of Scruffy Church TV. She's moving to Nottingham in this week. So we pray for her and we pray for Jean, our friend here in Bath, and for Emily, a daughter of another friend. And we pray for Ellie and Lorna who are having babies as well. We pray for them and we ask that you keep them safe. And we're also going to pray for Jess, who's a, a, an old woman who's nearly, who's reaching the end of her life. And we pray for her. And we pray for all the people who are sad today. And finally, we break the last piece of bread. And we put it here. And this is for the world. And everybody loves our lovely, beautiful world that God made for us. And we pray that the world may be mended in all the places that it's broken. And look, all of these lines are just like the gluten in the bread. As we pray for all of these people and as we share love with all of these people, we become stronger. We become joined together in prayer and we become strong in the love of God. And if you have got some bread left, maybe you'd just like to break a priest off. 
and let's eat this bread together. Are you ready? Let's eat. Mmm. Thank you, loving God, that even though we're apart, we can share eating this bread and we can share your love and your prayer. Amen. And we're going to say that prayer now that Jesus taught us, which has bread in it. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this piece of bread to Glam Lizzie so that she can eat it as well. Mmm, mm, she loves that bread. Mm. We're looking forward to that later on. Let's go and sing our last song now. So let's sing our last song together. And this is a song, I love this song. And it just talks about how when we share God's love, it's like lighting up the world with that love. So let's sing, oh, ah, here we go. Let's sing, light up the fire together. Here we go. Colors of day dawn into the mind. The sun has come up, the night is behind. Go down to the city, into the street, and let's give the message to the people we meet. So light up the fire and let the flame burn. Open the door, let Jesus return. Take seeds of his spirit, let the fruit grow. Tell the people of Jesus, let his love flow. Go through the park, on into the town. The sun still shines on, it never goes down. The light of the world is risen again. The people of darkness are needing a friend. So light up the fire and let the flame burn. Open the door, let Jesus return. Take seeds of the Spirit, let the fruit grow. Tell the people of Jesus, let his love flow. Open your eyes, look into the sky The darkness has come, the sun came to die The evening draws on, the sun disappears But Jesus is living, his spirit is near So light up the fire and let the flame burn Open the door, let Jesus return Take seeds of his spirit, let the flute grow. Tell the people of Jesus, let his love show. I hope you enjoyed singing that. It's been wonderful to be together today on Scruffy Church TV. That's the address that you can write to there, scruffy at stephensbath.org.uk. You can find out all about Scruffy TV there. We'd love to hear from you. As we finish, let's pray together. So put your hand out. I'm praying for you and I hope that you can feel that prayer in your hand. I hope you can feel that warmth. And now you place that hand here. And God warms up our souls with that love. Pray for everyone who's watching and all the people we know that you'll bless us this week. Help us to love others, to love all people, because your love feeds the world. Amen. Now, do you remember, I said at the beginning, that Glam Lizzie had an idea for the end. I wonder what it can be. All she said to me was, just make sure you sing the Scruffy TV song again at the end. So, let's sing, let's sing it and see what she's got in store for us. Here we go! 
Sometime on a Sunday or any day, I know where I'll be. Watching my computer or iPad to see Scruffy TV. It's Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! We're all family. Let's sing it again. Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. Woo! Scruffy Scruffy Church. We're all family. Who is it? You and you and me. You and you and me. You and you and me. We're God's family. Scruffy Church TV! Yay! Yeah! Scruffy Church TV, everybody! <laughs> Great idea, Glam Lizzie!